Hey, welcome back. So let's. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. So this, uh, the subject of this will be how to load data into your Power BI. So we have our blank Power BI document, which we have saved as uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we've got our folder created that we're going to work out of. I've got mine on my P drive. And we have copied over this dim voucher CSV to that folder. So let's get this CSV file into Power BI. So the way we do that is we, we, are, we want to get data. So we, we uh, drop this down here. And this is a list of the most common data sources that uh, people bring, are bringing into Power BI. So Excel is pretty popular. Um, to, we're bringing in a CSV. Um, but yeah, you can, there's, if you bring a SQL Server, whatever you want, there's so many cool things you can bring in. I've heard you can even bring in Twitter or Facebook data. Uh, I haven't tried it myself, but uh, it would be interesting. Um, if you don't see the data that you're, the, the type of data you want to bring in on this list, click down here on more and it'll bring up a big selection and it, Hopefully you'll find what you're looking for there. But in our case, we're bringing the CSV. So let's click on CSV and it'll ask us what file we wanna bring in. So navigate to the, to the folder where we saved it. Luckily, uh, mine is right where it needs to be. Um, and we're gonna highlight the file we're bringing in. So this is the, uh, again, this is the 1.17 million uh, uh, vouchers that uh, exist uh, between 2012 to 2021. And let's pull it into Power BI and see what happens. So, um, just click open and it's going to start. I'm going to keep the video running the whole time so that you see how long it uh, it, it takes to do this. So um, first thing that it's going to do, is just going to give you a little preview of what the data is going to look like as a table. Um, it, with a CSV, you're, 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 you're pretty safe. It already is a tabular uh, in a tabular format. So you could go here. So um, as you can see, these are the columns that uh, we, we know are in our file. And this is just a, a list of some of the just some of the top lines here. So it's gonna it's gonna pull a bit in here. It just wants to give us kind of um, a heads up of like what it's what it's gonna look like when we bring it in. So thanks, Power BI. Um, so click on load, and we'll see what happens next. So it's bringing the data in. So it's gonna be it's like a seventy megabyte file. So as you can see, it's just pulling it all in right now. Okay, so it's pull, it's loaded the data into Power BI, but it did find an, an error. So in the next video, I'm going to show you quickly how to fix that. Uh, this is um, th there's options to fix your data. It's, so part of the uh, the loading process is that uh, you 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 clean up your data before you bring it in here because it needs to be that tablet format that Power BI can work work with. Um, and uh, yeah, you just have to kind of make sure all the columns are uh, populated or or uh, makes sense. Um, in this case, we had something that didn't quite. So there's two options to um, to fix an error. The first one is you can go into your source document, your CSV file, find uh, just kind of look through it and kind of figure out where your error is. Um, in our case, though, we've got over a million lines. We're never going to find it. So luckily, Power BI has a built-in connection that uh, brings up the Power Query Editor. So that will that will allows us a lot gives us a lot of tools to transform our data so that we know um, can find our error and then deal with it. So um, we're going to do that in the next video. But that is basically how you load a data file into Power BI. So um, yeah, move to the next video and we're ready to uh, zap that voucher or zap that error. Thanks.